okay. My wife used to find me handsome, now she finds me handy. As such, I have to kind of maintain that status and do handy type things. Today, she went and bought a chair from Costco. What'd she get? She bought the Costco Synergy Home Furnishing Recliner. Pretty cool. She looked it up online and on the Costco websites, it says it's called the Arley Chair and it was named after a very beloved Costco employee by the name of Arley, who I think she said passed away due to cancer or maybe leukemia or something along those lines, some kind of terrible thing that took his life earlier than expected. And uh, so I think they, Costco decided to name this chair after him. I don't see that name on the box, but that's understandable because sometimes they order these products and then they order, you know, this is a sticker and they print however many thousands of these. And then of course, you know, the name might be the next batch, the next generation might say Arley on it. I, don't, I can't say for sure, but we think that's, that's our presumption. Anyway, okay, so here it is, the recliner, a Costco recliner. We're going to try to put this together quickly. And what my wife loves about me is that I fix things, just about anything. I can figure out just about anything. What she hates about me is that I don't read instructions. So I'm going to put this together without reading instructions. Okay, let's we'll start out. So there we go. Synergy, it's a recliner. It looks good. By the way, this is heavy. You know, it's... Yeah, it's, it's 250 pounds. So... It actually doesn't feel like 250 pounds, but that's what the box says. So, anyway, I rolled it in because we had to roll it all the way into the side. Okay, let's open it up. It says no box cutter, so don't use a box cutter. Use your knife. So cut up top so you don't go through any fabric. You don't want to do that in a brand new chair. That would be really silly, wouldn't it? These cuts should be fine with this way. Practice things with your knife. You want to be able to use your knife in both hands, left and right, without cutting yourself. Or worse yet, somebody. Always be careful when you're doing stuff like this. There we go. Now we're in there. Okay. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Now, sometimes I'm packing items from Costco. Now, we've gotten furniture from many different... Retailers and that sort of thing. I'd say, as of late, predominantly most of our furniture is is uh, coming secondhand uh, off of various websites, marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, uh, next door, places like that. But we still are certainly buying things new. Uh, it's, I guess it would be our second choice, but uh, for certain furniture things like a recliner, you spend a lot of time sitting in it. You know, it's got to be ultra, ultra clean to be a recliner if we're going to sit in it and someone else has already done that, so. Okay, so. Okay, so. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So, here it is. A uh, new chair from Costco. Let's see what we've got. We've got some kind of protective fabric, which is nice. This looks like it would keep any it and shipping from getting scratched or rubbed or something like that. I'm going to assume I can just pull that off. And it looks like I can. It looks like it's quite nice. And we'll just lift this out. What do we got? This would be the back of the chair. Okay, we've got a tag on there. We'll put this off to the side like so. No problem. Okay, and then this looks like it was covered the entirety of the chair. And then we have a couple support pieces here. These are just some pieces of poplar wood that are designed to kind of keep the arms intact. So, so just some little pieces of poplar and actually kind of fun if you're a crafty person you can use this wood this nice little thin piece of wood for something else okay and uh, we've got a oh I like what they did here and yeah, they make sure that nothing's gonna cut or scratch so they've this is packaged very well you know it doesn't have a ton of uh, styrofoam on the sides it doesn't have a ton of styrofoam so we appreciate that so there we go all right uh, let's see what we've got here okay sure so, out here. There. And now we have a chair. Okay. 
All right, the tape that's not necessary. So move the box out of the way. All right, so we have uh, this box down here. And uh, I'm assuming this is a miscellaneous parts. This is very clever. Uh, they put this little box in the bottom of the chair. <laughs> and it uh, looks like you could, it looks like actually it's going to be a secret compartment if you wanted that once this, once this chair is assembled. So you see what we've got. All right, these are the legs. You can see that. We've got four legs. So we know that for sure. And legs are made of wood with a... Oh, nice. Very nicely made. I like it. Okay, so we've got a straight leg. And uh, I can't tell what kind of wood that is. And nowadays, even if, you've, even if you think you can tell, they can do a finish that would match a different, completely different type of wood. But it does feel like it's a, possibly a hardwood of some sort, so that's nice. Okay, try and unpack this. So we got an angle, and we got a straight. And we've got an angle, probably two straight and two angle, I would think, right? Isn't that what we would need to make the chair fit properly? Okay. Are there instructions to put this together? I hope not. This seems pretty frightfully easy to me. Okay, so I can see that this is a recliner. This is going to be the front. This is going to be the back. We're going to put the legs on right away. And then we can set it up, stand it up. So I'll just lift it gently, like so. I can see that since I already determined this is my front, I'm going to take my two front legs and simply screw them in right here. Yeah, oh, once they get the thread. <laughs> okay. Am I on it? There we go. Now I'm on it. You can feel it once it starts to bite. I don't want to go too far on this. Don't overdo it. Just get it hand tight and then maybe another quarter of a turn. That feels really nice. Same thing down here. Just a little lift to get in the angle. And because it's metal, so you got a metal screw bolt rather, a metal bolt going into a metal receptacle. The receiver is also metal, so it's really unlikely that you're going to strip this, whereas if it were whereas if it were a a wood a metal bolt or a metal screw going into wood. You could strip that, but they've obviously the receiver here that they've installed is definitely metal, so that makes it a lot easier. All right, let's see how fast we can put this baby together. Like I said, you don't need to go crazy tight. I think I'm going to go all the way around one more time. It's more than I want to do, but I made it. Okay, and we'll do one more. And this one down here. This one, you're going to need a little lift. So if you need a little lift, just give yourself a little assist like that. With your foot uh i would say you know a light chair even though it said 250 pounds i really find it hard to believe i, I don't know okay i'm gonna stop right there on that one okay and then what we'll do is just prepare this so we'll lift this up just like so and gently put it down okay all right, now we just need to figure out how we're going to attach the back to the front. And it looks to be extremely self-explanatory. We've got the back here coming up to two prongs and a receiver in on this. I literally think I'm going to push, take this, put this on here, and I'm just going to slam it right down. You don't have to try and be delicate with this. Just make sure that you're aligned. I should be able to see it down here. See if I can. Yes, I can. I can see that side. I can see that side. And I feel good about it. And if you feel good about it, you just take it home. Can I take it home? Oh, I took it home. It's in. That's it. Then back here, this nice cover that covers that area where the other parts were is all ready to go. Then you're just going to Velcro that just like you do your lady friend's skirt if she ever needed help her skirt you just help her with her skirt like that or there's some nice man skirts out there too you don't have to be a man friend it doesn't matter okay now let's we'll see because my wife picked this chair am i gonna like it i don't know am i ever gonna even get to sit in it i don't know okay because she finds me handy got me putting stuff together all the time not bad
Full recline position, probably standard recline position. I'd say very comfortable. For me, at five foot eight, if I'm sitting all the way back with my back to it, my feet don't touch, but I've got rather short legs, 30 inch inseam, so my feet don't touch at five foot eight. However, my upper body is probably closer to a medium or a large, and the length between my shoulders and my elbows, that feels really nice. I feel, don't feel like I'm being pushed forward at all. I feel like I have plenty of room for my neck. I say it's a very comfortable chair. And again, when I'm here, I feel, if I were really tall, this, I think this chair might be too short. I feel like my head would be off. But at my height, it feels really good. This is a relaxing chair. So there you have it. The Costco Recliner Synergy Collection called the Arley. And uh, what is it called? Arley, I think. Yeah. And... Um, they named a nice product after you, Arlie.